Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sammy and welcome back to another video. This one is special because it is a collab with my good friends here on YouTube. Ooh, sorry about that. That's what happens when you're holding your camera. <laughs> but anyways, I'm doing a collab for Christmas goodies or Christmas treats. And it is in collaboration with... Whew, out of breath. Sorry. Tamara over at Southern Wife Everyday Life, Kat at Southern Farm and Kitchen, and Tori over at Mountain Mama Living. Um, we have collabed before um, for a Friendsgiving, and we wanted to go ahead and do another one for Christmas. So we all made Christmas treats and goodies for this video. I will have all of their information linked in my description box below, as well as a playlist for this video. I do have three sweet treats for you in this video, and um, one of them, my son helps me out, and you'll hear my kids in the background, but that's okay. But anyways, they did help me in the kitchen, and I love those memories, but I don't know if, if y'all like that or not, but these memories are going to be something that I cherish forever. But anyways, oh, this video is in collaboration, like I said, with my good, good friends, and they are very near and dear to my heart. And anytime they say they want to collab, I'm game because I love all three of them and we have gotten very, very close. And I just want to wish all of them a very Merry Christmas. And same to you all, I wouldn't be here without my subscribers, so thank you all so very much. But when you're done watching my video, please go and give them some love over on their channels. But without further ado, Let's go cook some sweet, sweet treats. Right, so we are going to make sugar cookie fudge. A big, um, a giant cookie kit. Leo picked this out yesterday, so he wanted me to include this. So we are gonna make that, and then we're gonna make some Christmas Muddy Buddies, and we're gonna use these cute little sprinkles. There's like snowflakes and blue glitter. These are little snowmen. Um, yeah, all kinds of colors and pretties. So that's what we're gonna make there. So I think we're gonna start off by making the fudge. Then we'll do the Mighty Buddies and Leo is wanting to help decorate the cookie. So I'm gonna bake the cookie and get it ready. And then I'll show y'all making, well, him decorating that. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get on into making all three of these things for this yummy, yummy video.
All right, so to make these Muddy Buddies, we're gonna start with a stick of butter. Everybody's in here, so it's all right if y'all hear voices, you're not, you know, it's okay. And then we're gonna add, it said a 12 ounce jar of peanut butter, but I have this big old boy. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and use that. Um, that looks like a small jar to me. Does that look like a small jar to you? <laughs> like a 12 ounce jar? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> sure. Totally. I'd say that's about 11 and a half ounces there. I gotta get this off the spoon. Well, now you're at 13 ounces. I'll probably do more like 13 and a quarter. Mmm. And we're gonna add a tablespoon of vanilla in and in. Vanilla. <laughs> vanilla. I probably should have waited on that, but y'all know I don't, I don't like to listen. <laughs> Alright. It's so cold. We're going to add a whole, what is it, 12 ounce bag chip. of chocolate chips. Leo, you want to pour my, I need 12 ounces of cereal in here. Yeah, I'll give you 12 and a quarter. <laughs> So you just want to stir this until it is, hold on, cereal bag, just stir it until it's all creamy and then we'll pour this over the cereal of course and then we'll top it with powdered sugar and then the Christmas part will be the sprinkles. We're going to use these. I think that would be really pretty on top of them. So that's what we're going to do. I'll bring you back when this is all done. Also, also, if I can talk right, make sure, there's a lot of noises y'all, sorry. Make sure that you don't have this on high because it will burn while it's cooking and not, um, it won't melt. But we've got this together and I did throw in a little bit of salt too, to kind of like, you know, sweet and salty at the same time. Not too much though. All right, so we're going to go ahead and dump this over the cereal. So let me get y'all over there. All right, so we have our 12 ounces. My bowl's almost not big enough. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and pour the chocolate and peanut butter mixture over top, get it all mixed up, and then we're going to top it with the powdered sugar. I can get it to dump over. All right. Here we go. Dump, dump, dump. Oh, goodness gracious. Awkward. All right. All right, I got everything dumped in there. All right. <laughs> Let's make a mess because I know that's what I'm about to do. I need like a huge bowl. There goes the cereal. And it will be if I <laughs> get it stirred up. Oh, phone down. Y'all, this is just not going very well for me today. This is why I usually just do voiceovers. Now we're gotten it. Now we get it. So you'll try to make sure you've got the cereal coated as much as you can. And throw it over the bowl too. That's a key thing. Make sure you throw it out of the bowl. Otherwise, it's not going to taste right. Just like everything I make. It always ends up out of the pot, out of the pan, out of the bowl. Doesn't matter. And I'm trying not to crunch up the cereal too much, but that's hard in this bowl. I need a huge bowl. Big, big mixing bowl. Well, it ain't gigantic enough for this. Okay, <clears throat> y'all, I'm wondering if, should I put more cereal in there, y'all? No. Probably. Let's add a little bit more. All right. Oops. This is going to be a disaster. <laughs> I think my tripod is giving out on me. Give me a second. 
All right, maybe that'll work. We'll try to stir that up again. I gotta put a little bit more on top. And then we're gonna add a little bit more on top to just kind of help it. All right, Leo, we'll set that one here. Let's get this other one making. <clears throat> so we're just gonna scoop some in there. Alright. Here, hold this bag, baby. We're gonna scoop the rest into this bowl. Or this bag. And my oldest one is meal prepping right now, so that's why y'all hear so much noise in my kitchen. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. Ah, uh, can I get it in there? I've only got six pieces of pork chop. These are All right, so we're gonna put a little bit more on there. Normally, I go three and a half pounds of pork chops for the week. All right, Leo, zip that one up and start shaking. I'm just gonna go ahead. <laughs> well, the salt shaker man back here. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and we got both of these bags mixed up. Hang on, y'all. Sorry. <laughs> all right, so now that we got both of these bags mixed up, we're going to go ahead and just pour them in my big bowl here. And we're going to let these like stay out and cool right now before we put our sprinkles in. These were always my favorite pieces right here. Jeez. I don't know why, but I've always liked the big old clumps. So we're going to go ahead and let these cool. When they get cooled, I'll bring you back and show you the, with them with the sprinkles and everything on them. Okay, so we've put the sprinkles on there. There's blue, red, and green. <clears throat> Although you can't really tell it that much, but I think it adds just a little something something for Christmas. And I've got it in this cute little pan. And it's got a lid on it, so I think that'll work. But these are so good, y'all. So. so now we are going to go ahead and make this a giant cookie. <laughs> it is in the shape of a Christmas tree. It includes the sugar cookie mix, the frosting, the rainbow candies, and the um, parchment paper stencil so you can get the cute tree. Um, so I'm going to make this part and then Leo is going to come down and we're going to decorate this. So you all be, will be seeing him decorate it. I thought that would be cute. So I'm going to go ahead and put this to music because all you need is just to take this mix mix it with a stick of butter and then it's done and i'll just let y'all watch me <laughs> Y'all, 
So the first attempt at the sugar cookie did not go too well. So like I said, this was the first attempt. I even tried to cut the edges. <laughs> no, listen, hold on. That's how hard that cookie dough is. It, I guess it's my gas oven, I don't know, but I just made another dough real quick and I've got that one in the oven. But I ain't had nothing from you all. Y'all, you buy that mix, you better stand right on top of it. Cause it wasn't in there, not very long. But my son came down and stole the corner. He said, it still tastes good. Mm -mm. So, second time's the charm, right? So when we get it out, we'll decorate it and then I'll show y'all the end of it. All right, so the cookie looks better <laughs> for the second go around. It is a little bit more poofy than theirs, but you know what, it's homemade. It's not all of a package and it's probably what I should have went with. It's a little wonky there, but it's unique and it's ours. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate this one and we will bring you back when it is all done. All right, here is take two of the cookie. It is a little bit fluffier than theirs, but that's okay. Um, we'll just have a fluffy tree. It'll match me. <laughs> Nothing wrong with fluffy. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and decorate this now. Leo is mashing up the icing. So, and then we got little candy pieces and fudge topping, so we will bring y'all along with us. We're just going to set it to music. Mm -hmm. 